I have a confession to make. I'm addicted to my phone. I am putting an end to this. So I ordered this from eBay and it's the LG Smart Folder. Do you remember how um, to do full stop? This is gonna take some getting used to. You can call me. <laughs> Please work. Hello. I'm busy now, bye. Did it hang up? Yeah. I can't scroll. I can't scroll in bed, and even when I wake up, I won't be able to scroll unless I physically get out of bed, go over there, and into the drawer. Um, so, looks like I am reading tonight. Good morning. I have no phone to scroll on. So, I used this as my alarm to wake up, and I couldn't scroll in bed. It's actually kind of bad because I use my iPhone to wake up, as in like the screen brightness to wake up my eyes so I kind of had to like like I used to back in the day wake up very slowly and be like okay I'm waking up and it was just it was so quiet like the house is so quiet and I got all the stuff done in the morning I read my book I had my tea I did my stretching and it seems like that is a lot to do in the morning and it would take a lot of time but I would usually spend like half an hour to an hour scrolling on my phone while I'm having my breakfast but I didn't this morning I will say though it was a little weird waking up this morning because um, I did immediately open the phone <laughs> and check my messages from WhatsApp and Facebook messages to see if I had any messages it was like out of habit like my brain was like okay I, I have to check I have to check but it was like two messages there's not really much to check on there let me show you what I've actually set up on the phone so far that's me with my little LED mask thing on and mezcal just like what is going on anyway so you just swipe it up and put in your passcode and then I made this cute little background with purple moon it's very me so what's cool about this phone is you can type on here but you can also touch screen as well and I have Spotify on here so when I'm out and about I can still listen to music let's play some Gaga hello I've got some headphones that I can plug into here when I'm out and about. Uh, I think you can also attach Bluetooth headphones as well um, because it has Bluetooth, I haven't tried that yet. And then I have a clock, a calculator, my calendar, um, a camera. The camera is so cute, it's such bad quality but I kind of like it. Especially in low light, it almost looks like film, <laughs> like fil a film camera. And then I have my messaging. Uh, so Messenger, WhatsApp, and my text messaging. I have um, all the Google apps, Gmail, Drive, um, Maps, which is the most important. It also has YouTube, which works quite well on here. Like, you can watch YouTube totally fine on this. It's actually quite nice. I don't know how much I'll watch YouTube on here. And then we also just have, like, the simple stuff, like phone, call logs, contacts, the gallery. It has all of these options. I also added Uber and PayPal on here just in case um, but Uber seems to work pretty fine on here I will say though the system is a bit slower than an iPhone but yeah as you can see it's quite it's quite slow but it works it's fine and yeah I can go get an Uber if I want which is great and that's pretty much all I have on it and probably all I will have on it what was slightly annoying is I had to make a new WhatsApp account I can't use the same number on two phones which is kind of annoying. The way I've got around this, like for example if I'm messaging Rain, I've just basically made a group chat that's called Kelsey Messaging um, and it has my iPhone WhatsApp number and this number in here so I won't miss out on notifications um, and also in other group chats as well I'm adding this phone number into those group chats. It's gonna be quite a weird transferring over period. I'm gonna have to tell everybody my separate number for WhatsApp and for general calling and texting and ask people to add me into the WhatsApp group chats. As for typing, it's actually not too bad. Let me message Petros on the flip phone. On some apps, you can type with the tap screen keyboard. It is quite small. I have quite small fingers, so it's actually fine, but you can type with these keys as well which is really cute hello you I hope you're good I actually love like actually tapping on this and the sounds that the phone makes when I close it so cute when I open it so cute also what I really like is there's no screen for me to get distracted by when I get a notification this blue light flashes but there's no screen to like be like hello 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 and light up in my face and distract me which I absolutely adore i think this is gonna be a game changer i'm so excited and another fun thing about getting a flip phone is i can customize this i can add stickers and everything i don't and maybe even bedazzle it i might do that i don't know where to get all that stuff from though but i did get 
some phone charms. Wait, oh, sorry, my phone is ringing. Hello. Oh, also let me show you more custom things I did. So, I set up my ringtone. I think you can add like songs and custom ringtones, but I'm not really sure how to do it yet. I know it's probably through the SD card, which I need to add into here as well. And this is my alarm clock sound. I don't know if you can see, but I set the label to arise. It was actually so nice to wake up to classical music this morning. <laughs> now I am officially in work hours. Um, so I'm at my desk with the iPhone. She's here now. We're going to use her for work and when I'm working. I'm also not going to limit myself completely from scrolling on TikTok and Instagram. I'm going to set a time. There's usually, if I'm working at home around 4 p.m., I, I usually have a tea break and I'm probably going to give myself like half an hour to an hour to allow myself to just sit and scroll through TikTok and Instagram because I do actually need to do it for research because I'm a content creator and I need to do that but I feel like an hour is more than enough. So yeah, we're gonna try that today. After that, no more scrolling and once my work is finished, put that phone in a drawer and back to the flip phone. Good morning! Today I am getting ready to do an audition which is why I look like this. Yesterday was my first full day with this phone as using it as an actual phone. I was using my iPhone during the day for work hours. So my rough schedule with my work phone is I usually work like 10 till 6 p.m. And so I use my phone for those hours. But yesterday was kind of a challenge because my YouTube video came out yesterday, which was my Wembley vlog. So I had content come out on YouTube, TikTok and Instagram, which are all on social media. But the way I got around it was I put my phone in on airplane mode in the drawer and I just went on my desktop uh, because it is a little bit harder to scroll and get distracted on your desktop. You can get distracted but it's a bit harder so that worked really well and then I only gave myself an hour and then after that I closed my laptop and I was on this phone. It was kind of difficult because whenever I upload content I can get into this really bad cycle of like constantly checking, constantly checking um, and it's really unhealthy and you know what it was quite challenging at first when I first shut the laptop and I was like oh but I need to see if this video is doing well, I need to see, I need to see if people have commented, I need to reply to the comments because apparently if you reply to comments straight away it helps with the algorithm blah 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 and I'm trying to know not let that stuff matter to me anymore or anything and actually I was fine it was great and then I had a, I managed to get everything I wanted done yesterday at the night time I, I cooked dinner I had a bath I did my skincare I read a book and I went to bed at a normal time because I had to get up early today for this audition now today's gonna be a challenge because this is gonna be my first time going out with this. Now technically I am in work hours and just to be safe I am going to take my iPhone out with me but the iPhone is going to be at the bottom of the bag. I may even put it on airplane mode and then log back into my iPhone when I get home from the audition and continue in work. So yeah this is the first full day out with this. I gotta get ready now. Okay so I'm almost about to go for my audition. But I realised I have to use Google Maps to get to the place I've never been to this place before and I could just use my flip phone but I really don't want to risk it for an audition. That's just silly. So I am going to use my iPhone for Google Maps this one time just to make sure that I get to the audition well and good. But on the way home and once I'm done with the Google Maps I'm using this. I'm trying not to be distracted on my phone when I'm out and about. I don't want to be glued to my phone. I want to be aware of my surroundings and enjoy life. So yeah, this is the first kind of tiptoe in the waters, um, even though I still have both of my phones out. But yeah, I am excited. I just finished my audition. Um, I think it went well, by the way. Thank you for asking. I was just myself, that's all I could be. Yeah, anyway, so now I'm heading back home and I know my way home, but I'm gonna test out this phone with the GPS, with Google Maps to see how it holds up. The way here, I turned my data off completely because it's on pay as you go. So I'm being so frugal about my data. So I haven't really been on the internet or anything. And it was actually really nice before my audition to just sit and be and chill out um, and not be distracted and I think it actually really helped me just be more chill <laughs> but yeah let's see how 
the maps and data holds up with this. So actually, there's been a bus diversion and all the buses that I'm supposed to get home have been cancelled. So I actually don't know the way home. So I'm having to use this for maps and it's actually working quite well. I can follow maps. It's given me the directions, an alternative direction home. So far, so good, which I'm super happy about because the whole reason I got this phone in particular is because it has maps and getting lost in London is so stressful. <laughs> so thank you. I made it. I'm home. It worked. I'm safe and sound. Thank you. Okay, but now I actually have to go back onto my iPhone and do work and oh no, I have so many notifications. Now let's answer all of these emails and messages and get my work done. It is day three and as you can probably tell by the no makeup, the glasses and the cozy outfit, it is the weekend, it's Saturday, I don't know where my voice has gone. I'm not being dramatic and I'm not doing this just for the video, like this I'm all, like, I'm already feeling so much better and it's only been three days. Now, I'm like literally stood up talking to you like a TED talk because I'm so pumped today. Last night was so interesting because I put my phone away around 6 p.m last night and then I made dinner and then we watched some Modern Family and then after that I was like okay I don't really want to watch TV anymore I'm bored and usually when I do when I'm like bored of the TV I'll just go on my phone and scroll and check Instagram blah 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 but I was like I can't do that the phone is in the drawer and even just having the phone in the drawer as like a barrier was like enough for me I know that some people have to like padlock their phone away but I've been pretty good at once it's in the drawer, it's out of sight, out of mind. And I was like, well, now what do I do? I felt like a kid, like I was bored. I was bored and like, I actually felt like it gave me such nostalgia of actually being bored. And so I cleaned the kitchen, I did my stretches, I played with the cats and then I was tired and I went to bed. And usually when I'm tired, like even if I'm tired, I will still scroll in bed. Like it's part of my routine to scroll in bed to go to sleep but I was just tired and I went to sleep and I woke up feeling so refreshed. And so today is gonna to be interesting because today is a weekend. For like the past year, I've really tried to be like putting boundaries where like, okay, these are my work hours. And then after that, Kelsey hours. And then at the weekend, don't do any content creation or anything. But I found that even at the weekend, I was still scrolling on my phone and I wasn't really doing any weekend things. I was kind of still just working. It's gonna be interesting this weekend because I, don't have my phone I don't have my iPhone to scroll on and I can actually do weekend things like I have a bunch of cardboard that I have to break down and this needs to go outside into the garden because my partner had surgery so they can't really do any big laborious things I also have a performance tomorrow so I'm gonna rehearse that and then clean the house do my laundry read a book and who knows play my music play my guitars play my instruments there's so many possibilities today now that I'm not going to be scrolling on social media and um, I am still giving myself that hour of scrolling just because like I still want to be connected to the world. I think one of the reasons that I scroll a lot is because I have a FOMO. I have a fear of missing out. Um, like I'm going to miss out on the trends. I'm going to miss out on what the world is talking about and what is happening right now. Um, but an hour a day is enough and what's really weird as well is I'm actually excited to check social media I don't remember the last time I was excited to check social media like it's given me back that anticipation that I used to have when I first started being on social media and the internet was still like a new fun thing it, it's giving me that vibe I also have been thinking a lot that yeah the scrolling is distracting me but it's also affecting me and having my phone constantly is affecting me in other ways as well. Like it's giving me that instant gratification of things and I don't feel like I'm excited about things anymore. It's taken away that excitement. It makes time go by really quickly. Like things just now seem to come hurtling towards me. Like even just these past few days of not having my phone constantly, time has been a bit slower. Um, which I've actually really appreciated. It's lowered my anxiety, actually. You wanna say hello? I love him so much. 
Okay, let's go. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, it was really fun being in public with the flip phone yesterday. I was on the tube and somebody spotted that I was using a flip phone and they tried to take a photo of me, <laughs> but they had the flash on, so it was really obvious. But whoever took that picture, um, if you find my channel, please send it to me because I did look iconic yesterday, not like today. <laughs> night once again um, I managed to get all of my things done and today is a show day it's a normal night day today's gonna be interesting because I'm probably gonna have to take my phone with me to the show because I might want to film content and stuff so I think I'm gonna do the same thing again where I have my phone like in my bag on airplane mode and then just take the flip phone with me I feel like I'm gonna do that for a while just to be safe just to make sure that that phone is actually safe and secure and is working. So today the plan is, is to get ready for the show, basically, and do the show. I have these like iron on stars <laughs> that I could like iron onto the jumpsuit like this, like this, going all the way down, which would be really nice. And I've just realized that all of these stars are different sizes, which is not what I was going for. It's okay, we're gonna make it work. I have to give myself plenty of time when it comes to show days because I take a while to get ready and this time I'm gonna experiment with a new look, a new vibe. I'm going very 70s slash kiss inspired on the face with like a star on my face, like kiss slash gaga slash bowie inspired. We're slowly easing into a new era of Norma Knight. Today is day five and yesterday I kind of failed. I was using the iPhone to connect with the organizers of the event all day. I noticed something when I got to the show. I was using my iPhone and social media a little bit as a crutch because this was kind of pushing me out of my comfort zone. This show, I didn't know anyone there. I was completely by myself and it might not seem like it, but I'm actually quite an introvert and I find it really hard to start conversations and meet new people. I get anxious about how I come across because I'm actually quite naturally a quiet person. I like to sit and observe and take everything in and I get really anxious that that is me coming across as really shy and rude, but in the past, I would use my phone as a crutch, like, oh, I'm being really awkward, so I'll just look like I'm busy on my phone and I'll scroll through social media so I don't have to deal with these feelings and these emotions because it wasn't just like me performing, it was this whole panel thing inspired by Have I Got News For You if you're in the UK. So I had to be on it, I had to be funny, I had to be talking with the audience, which is very new for me. I, When I perform, I find it so awkward talking to the audience and I'm really, I'm really trying to get better at that, but yeah. Anyway, I noticed myself using it when people were coming in, when the audience was coming in and everybody knew everybody and I didn't know anyone. I I noticed myself kind of slowly, because I had to use my iPhone for work and stuff, slowly like going into the corner and using my iPhone as a crutch and I started watching people's stories and then I caught myself and I was like, no, no, I'm not supposed to be doing this. This is what this whole thing is about. So. I posted my things for promotion and I interacted with a few people and then I like took a deep breath, put my phone away and made myself just sit and feel those emotions and feel awkward. And it wasn't, I won't say it was fun, it was challenging. And I was just sat there and I was like, wow, people, this is how people did this when we didn't have these iPhones, when we didn't have social media so accessible. People would literally just have to sit there and be awkward <laughs> or go and talk to people. And there was a moment where I was like, I, I actually kind of want to go home. But then I started talking to some of the other performers and some of the people there and everyone was so nice. Like it wasn't because people weren't nice, it's just me. Everyone was lovely and it was fine. It was fine, but I definitely, pushed myself but I'm also proud of it as well. I actually think it helped the talking section, the panel section of the performance for me because I felt like I was more present. I felt like I was more in the room so I was coming up with things on the spot and I did quite well. People laughed. I was quite funny and it wasn't as bad as I thought and then my performance was okay too and it's making me excited to get back into more performances this year but yeah that was kind of difficult 
yesterday and um, I feel like I'm gonna be uncomfortable with that for quite a while but I think it was really important that I did that and I'm gonna continue to do it as uncomfortable as it is because I do think it will help me with my social anxiety. So today is a new day and today because yesterday I was kind of pretty much working all day and it was pretty draining. When I do performances and be social like that, it's quite draining. I'm gonna treat today as almost like, even though it's a Monday, almost like a weekend day. I'm gonna do a few little bits of work and then really take it easy and just kind of chill out. I actually haven't been to the gym for like a week, so I'm, I was thinking about going to the gym today, but I'm actually feeling more like I'm craving nature like I have I'm feeling a little bit drained and a bit of a headache so I think actually I might go on a forest walk today because I'm so lucky to live kind of near nature in a forest even though I live in London so I'm thinking of doing that today as one of my things and I'm gonna go out of the house without this iPhone and just go with my flip phone to the forest because now I feel pretty secure that it works it's not too far from home either so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do that instead of going to the gym today and just get my blood pumping and my steps in and kind of reground myself back with nature. I just jumped over that pile of mud there and my phone dropped out of my pocket, it's covered in mud, no! It is day six and today I am going to the gym and I'm gonna go just with my flip phone. I have a few, I have a few obstacles. So first I think I'm gonna try and download a workout playlist onto my Spotify. So if I can't connect to the internet there, then at least I'll have some music to listen to. The other obstacle is I can't get my AirPods to work with this. So I'm gonna have to use the wired headphones, which is gonna be slightly annoying. I wonder if there's some Bluetooth headphones that I can get to work with these. So I'm just gonna download my workout playlist, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to connect to the Wi-Fi when I'm there. Another obstacle is I usually look at workouts on my phone on Instagram, so I'm gonna have to be organized and write them down before I go and have it in a notebook. I feel like I'm gonna be like carrying a lot of things and juggling things, but People did it before, so I think I'll be fine. The other obstacle is I am actually terrified of filming myself at the gym, but we're gonna try. People are allowed to film at our gym, um, so I am gonna try and be brave. I just have to have the audacity of a man. It's day seven and it's been a week since I got this flip phone. So let's catch up first about yesterday when I went to the gym. It was really nice going to the gym with the flip phone. I think this is probably the first time I've really had hurdles though with having a flip phone. It really was kind of annoying having to carry everything and have all the wires and hold my phone while I was running. But I guess the solution to that is to try and find one of those pocket things or find gym clothes with pockets, but the wires are so annoying. I was worried at one point because I put my phone in my sports bra that I was sweating too much and I was gonna make the phone get wet because I don't know how well this phone does if it gets wet. And another thing I found is that I actually spoke to people at the gym. I wasn't using my phone in between sets to scroll or do anything, so I actually spoke to people, looked at people, smiled at people. So yeah, it's been a week. Let's go through my thoughts and the pros and cons. Number one, I would say the wired headphones is annoying like I mentioned, but I feel like that can be solved. It does have Bluetooth on the phone, so I can find a solution to that. I don't think as a creative person or a self-employed person, I could ever get rid of 
the iPhone or, or even social media because you do really need it to connect with people and to create content and I mean content creation is one of my jobs <laughs> so I literally need a phone with social media on and I can't imagine trying to film TikToks or Instagram reels on this or even scrolling on those websites really on this because it is still quite a small screen but if I wasn't self-employed or a creative person in that sense I think I would be totally fine with just this phone the other con is I have two numbers so I have to get everybody used to me having two numbers and making sure that I have the people that I need on this phone also because I do a lot of freelance work and I do a lot of performing I meet a lot of different people who are running these events and they usually message me on Instagram DM me on Instagram so even when it's event days and stuff like that I still have to have this phone with me and again another con I now have two phones and somebody said well why don't you just put one of those limiting apps on your phone so it it cuts you off from social media after a certain time but I've tried that before and it's really bad but I would just disable the app like it's not enough of a barrier for me so yeah that's leading on to the pros it's only been a week and this honestly sounds so dramatic but there really are so many pros and I'm feeling so much better mentally I feel like I'm a much calmer and chill person um, I feel more present and I just don't feel as anxious and I feel like I have gotten so much more done I feel like I've been more creative and it actually makes me more excited about things and more excited about mundane things as well I have noticed a difference in me taking care of myself I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, I'm doing my skincare, I'm exercising more I'm reading, I'm playing instruments I'm playing with my cats more I want to talk to people more because I'm not as socially drained by social media I want to get that social enrichment from actual people I actually feel more connected to my friends and family because only them are on this phone so I can only talk to them and I don't get distracted by anyone else or anything else the world seems a lot quieter now and that means that I also have more time for my thoughts which I think I was distracting myself from that with social media and scrolling so much um, but my head feels so much more clearer now I'm using notebooks more I'm watching more YouTube and TV I don't know if that's a good thing I feel like it's better than scrolling on social media though but I will keep an eye on that keep an eye <laughs> I'm now actually opening my eyes and trying to look elsewhere for creative inspiration and maybe even just come up with things myself with my own brain and my own thoughts. I know nothing is ever original but it's fun being inspired by something else than other than something that I've just seen on social media. Whereas with like scrolling that much before for inspiration and also just entertainment I, at the end of the day I wouldn't even remember what I'd seen or what I'd even been inspired by and now that I have just that one hour of time with social media and scrolling I'm actually really banking in my head what I've seen what I've enjoyed what I've been inspired by and I've actually started to also when I sit down and scroll have a notebook with me and write down things that I saw or was inspired by or like for example somebody recommended a book and I actually wrote down the book that was recommended instead of just saving the video and then never ever looking at my saved videos also I'm moving around the house more because I'm not just sat on my phone I'm actually doing things around the house and also what's really interesting is I thought I would have big FOMO but I really actually don't miss scrolling or social media that much I love creating for social media and I will never stop doing that because I can't get rid of this phone and because it's part of my job and I just have to accept that I do think I found a really good balance with this I'm feeling so so glad that I did this and I'm so excited to see how much this will affect me in a month's time in three months six months a year's time because I'm definitely gonna stick to this because I haven't felt this good and this creative and like this since I was a kid since I was a teenager such a long time ago I'm a millennial I'm from that generation I know like as a teenager I did have social media but it was only on the family computer and I had phones like this and I couldn't scroll or do anything I had to be at the computer and it feels very nostalgic but I also feel like I just don't think social media and scrolling and how many hours that we're using our phones for is good 
I know I sound like a boomer, but I don't think it is. And it, the mums were right. The phone is the problem. I do enjoy those platforms, but I really don't like how much they try and take your whole life. So overall, best thing I've ever done. I would recommend this to anyone. I am now gonna be that girl who is trying to influence people to get flip phones. Do you think my mood has changed since I got the flip phone? Yes. In, in what way? You actually seem like calmer. And you seem like you enjoy going out a little bit more. Yeah, I, I, I would agree. I feel like I've been a lot more chill and happier. You're a little sassier. Sassier? Why? I don't know. But it does seem like you're delighting, like, uh... Well, you're sassier, like, it's, it's affecting your fashion. Like, it's become a part of you. <laughs> but also, um, yeah, I would say that, like, when you call me or you're texting or something while you're out, you seem to delight in doing that a lot more. Yeah, it's so exciting talking to people on this. Let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on social media and your scrolling time? And if you have any questions about this flip phone, just pop them in the comments and I will answer them too. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.